Yeah, Eric, it's out with the old, in with the new, a new era here for Aggie football as Mike Elko officially begins his tenure as Texas A&M's head football coach and Aggieland welcoming him back like he never even left, taking his steps onto Kyle Field and returning to the place where he spent three seasons as defensive coordinator under his predecessor, Jimbo Fisher, before ultimately replacing him six years later. The former Duke head football coach now finds himself with a chance to prove himself and assert Texas A&M back at the top of college football. When you look at what this program is capable of, what we've got to do is we've got to fulfill that potential. And I think that happens with work. And, and I think that was the message I sent to the players. That was the message I tried to deliver to the crowd. We can't just say we want to be something. We can't just say we want to arrive somewhere. We've got to be committed to all the work that it's going to take from today until we kick off next September. There's so much that goes into winning football games in the fall. And um, those are the things that we've got to start taking pride in. Pride is certainly one of those incentives. Another incentive would be the contract incentives that Mike Elko is getting courtesy of Texas A&M should he make it past the college football playoff and maybe beyond to a national title. He could make up to as much as $10.5 million should he deliver a national title back here to Aggieland. I'll have more coming up tonight at 9 on Fox 44 Sports. But for now, reporting live at Kyle Field, Parker Ream, Fox 44 Sports.